everyone so i am here today with a game called to the moon now i don't know how this is going to look on um the screen or anything because it is a bit weird to record but hopefully it looks okay um yeah um i've never played this game before but the creator or the person that made this game has another game coming out on friday and i really wanted to play that but I thought on the run up to the game coming out we'd play some of this as well because um, since I'd never played it but I have heard it's really sad and stuff like that um, and it's got a good story so that, and I love games with good stories as you can probably tell from the channel but we will go ahead and get started now there is no options menu which I feel like is kind of weird but it's okay Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for hero, hero oh my gosh, heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. <laughs> oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever, furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your port later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So left click an object to interact with it, so. Receive equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. Right click to toggle menu or cancel. What? What am I doing? Okay. So we're a, technica, a technician specialist, senior memory travelist agent. What am I doing? I appear to be saving the game. Okay, we're back. So, okay, where are we going? Where am I going? Alright, let's just... This is weird. I can't seem to <laughs> control very well, but... Okay, fine. He wants me to go up that way, hence the arrow. Go. Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Oh, it wants us to... Wait, what? Okay, well, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> and that is that. Okay, let's, come on. Come on. Up. Up. Okay. Up. We put a boulder here. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Um, let's go ahead and push it. Alright, on three. One, two, three. What? I, I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, eh, uh, we'll figure... 
that thing out later. Right. Okay. Oopsie, wrong way. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know where we're going. We're just going to go up. Because why not? Right? Oh my goodness, this is really difficult <laughs> to control. Okay, up, 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 up. More. More. Up, that, wait, da, uh. Ugh, stress. Okay, come on. Up here. Where are we going? What is this? Well, apparently we don't go that way. I don't know. Let's go down here. Okay, that's easier now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, we're probably meant to be going to that door there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, I said. <laughs> Ma, they're here. Okay, not a bad, not a bad place to retire at, huh? Okay, I could do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. No, I want to go in. It's probably going to be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through the... You're blathering, they won't. Don't forget the equipment, you moron. Get it. I don't get paid enough for this. Okay. I never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. What? <laughs> One sec, everybody. Sorry about that, everyone. Somebody was at the door. Um, but yeah, Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosella Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at practicing predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his care caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's the kids we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll see you with the insurance claim. <laughs> right, so let's go ahead and grab that. Right. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs, yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets their first gets to play the melody. Dang kids. <laughs> oh. Not fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes away anyway. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And 
Incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small me meteoroids. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Alright, let's, let's go over here. He's unresponsive at the, this point, but by the looks of things, he'll still consciously, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to see how long you'll have, but I was hurry. Okay. Um. Mm. Okay. What are we doing? I'll look over him. Go ahead and set up. Table? You want us to set up at the table? Um. I don't know. Okay, go ahead and set up. We're ready to set up. Set machine down. Yes. Yes, I'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got half a, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on, keep get, keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That's... I don't really know much. Johnny's an old man. Though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, you do your thing. Well, I suppose if, I, if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed up for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? We go to search the house. I'm going to say Dr. Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. <laughs> right, they continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright, well, let's head on downstairs to the piano then. That's not the way to the piano, right? <laughs> this is the way to the piano. Down these stairs, right here. Wait, come back for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. I'm um, coming. Here, take this. Receives a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's stats. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor has activated in menu. Alright, let's go. Down the stairs then. To see Tommy and Sarah. Alright. Let's chat with them. What she want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you to, to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think you just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mum hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf 
that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. My mother used to keep candy up so high on shelves too. Alright, I will get it. The kitchen door's right next to the stairs. Now go. Alright, let's let's go. Kitchen door. Here? Maybe? Yes. There's that candy cane. Okay, let's get it. We can't reach it. Alright, can we pull this over? Yes. Step on it. Grab it. Received candy cane. Alright, let's go. Uh, terrible calories. <laughs> Alright. No! Okay, can we... Nope. I would like to leave. Nope. Okay, go over here. Leave. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was confusing. Okay, let's go give them the candy cane. Okay, I got you what you wanted. It's good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Alright. Okay, where do you we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Alright, so where's the study at? Where is the study? Alright, well, we'll go try and get the, these keys from the study. Let's see. This is the study. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. What, over here? Go. Let's see if we can find it. Um... Volume 1, the key to avoiding paper cuts. Alright. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplement... Suppl blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> Read more. No. Get the key. Oh. Maybe we have to read it. Okay, hang on. Yes. For the grand origami master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. Hmm. Interesting. Well, can we look at this book? Why? I want the key. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of... Okay. Maybe another year. Received room key. Okay. He chose its hiding spot well. Alright. Let's go. To this funny basement. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Alright. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Okay. Turn on that light. Now what? Can we click anything? Um, what is this box here? The chest is locked. Okay. Uh, let's chat with them then. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> what a shame. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. <laughs> Lovely. The chest is locked. Okay, what's through this door? The door is locked. Okay. Opened with room key. Let's go. Well, it's like a cave in here. Turn on the light. What is this? Is that rabbits? Like, what is that? A broken music box? A stuffed toy platypus? It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Take it. Alright. Um. Broken music box. Well, broken music box. A rabbit folded out of paper. 
That's a lot of origami rabbits there. So can we open... Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hehe. <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Okay. Go see the lighthouse. You know... Fine, maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out the old, let's go check the old lighthouse out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this part here. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.